hello guys so welcome back in this video let's have a look on group loops so i've got this model uh, it's a sample file so i'm in the backpack model here so i'll be just uh, choosing the polygroups method and groups by normals i'll be setting an angle of 20 and then click that so it will uh, create a auto polygrouping for this uh, model so keeping that intact i would like to go to the geometry mesh here and then we have a group loops option and then we have the loop section that is uh, uh, zero here so if i put uh, loops of three and then just apply this button here so it will identify the poly groups and uh, to the border of every poly group it will add a, a loop there so this model has got the subdivision so i'm deleting the subdivisions here now i'll apply the uh, group loops and you should be able to see uh, there is a loop here created uh, with the set setting there uh, so if i let's say group loops are set to zero you don't see any change there when I put it to one, you get see one loop which is right now visible here around that line. So when I set it to two, you should able to see there are two lines around the line which we have created. So if I put it to three, then you get three lines around it. Uh, so when, when I'm putting a one, the, the loop is inside and outside, you should carefully see that. And when I'm adding two, there are two lines added here. Uh, so we have a option called triangle which will basically create triangles in the model. To, uh, to deliver the final result okay uh, we have a group of polish and uh, I'm going to put a value of uh, 25 and then when I generally apply this uh, group loops with a set of loop one and then polish it so the model is uh, certainly modified a little bit to get uh, I mean some smoothness to have a better look on this uh, thing so I would like to go to the deformer uh, deformation section and then I'm going to add some noise in this so that you should be able to see some jitter in the model so I'll be just uh, scrolling down and then choose the geometry and then uh, I'll put a value of, of 50 uh, and then when I say group loops then you should be able to see the overall mess which was there in the model is completely gone with that polish button let's say if I don't pick any the uh, group polish then you should be able to see the model is as it is so the amount of uh, G polish uh, will certainly, uh, let's say if I put a value of 2, a very subtle amount of polish is applied. However, it's uh, majorly affecting the model. Okay. So when I put a value of 100, you should be able to see that uh, result. And then you have this button which can aggressively do the polishing um, of uh, this model. Okay. So you should be able to see the difference uh, in the model uh, from what we have here. Okay. So group polish is uh, one way to add the loops around the groups and also polish your model or refine your model. Uh, so it's a great way to, you know, um, add piping and all that to the bag. And uh, also uh, we can add uh, polish to the model. Uh, say I can maybe use a, a Z modeler tool and then select the face and then I'm choosing poly group all and then just extrude it. Then you should be able to see that uh, piping uh, has been created with all that loops uh, selected. So 